Hello everyone, this is Koge and welcome to my weekend gardening project at home. For this weekend, I'm going to do some lawn mowing. And this is the new machine that I've just bought. Works WG779 E.2 40 volt lithium iron cordless lawn mower. Now, let us set it up. The entire setting up takes about 10 minutes but if you are fast and a frequent user of a lawn mower, you can get it done within just 5 minutes. Works WG779 E.2 require 2 sets of 20 volt batteries. Here is the battery Works WA3551 20 volt power module 2.0 ampere hour. Both of the batteries are fully charged. You can check by pressing the red button here. Fully charge. Fully charge. Open up the battery pack cover and slot in the battery until you hear the sound click. Close it back. You can check again the status of the battery by pressing the battery indicator here. Fully charge again. There's two modes here, Echo and Turbo. I'll be using the Turbo mode because I want it to be rough and fast. And for the lever position, I'm going to adjust the cutting height to the fourth position, which approximately about 50 mm of cutting height. Looks like we are good to go to do some lawn mowing. Before we start, let me show you the built-in safety feature. This is the switch lever and this is the safety key. Kindly insert the safety key into the empty slot here. Press the safety key and move it to the right according to the direction given. Hold it and press the switch lever to start the lawn mower. Remember, without pressing the safety key, you are unable to start the machine. I am super excited to cut some grass.
This is my first attempt using a cordless lawn mower. If you want to know about my feeling, the feeling was great. The machine is very light, easy to operate, no emission of gas and definitely environmental friendly. Look at this side of my garden. The grass over here is super thick and long, reaching about 6 to 8 inches. I do face some difficulties cutting the grass here. Even though I'm using the turbo option, that is not sufficient. I have to play around with a different cutting height to reach this. Look at the beautiful grass after cutting. However, if you look closely at the edges and also the corners, I would say that we still can perfect it using a trimmer. So for next week, I'll be back for another weekend gardening project at home with a new toy. So I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Bye-bye.